When I decided to set myself on fire, I guess I didn't think it through entirely. I got kicked out of a lot of restaurants for smoking. I lit up the auditorium in a dark theater. The ushers asked me to leave. I ruined all my sweaters. When I went to your wedding, you wanted your groomsmen in black tuxedos and peach vests, but I was on fire. When my daughter showed a family photo to her friend, her friend said, oh my God, your dad is on fire. My daughter just rolled her eyes and said, he's been like that for years. At the town hall meeting, a local reporter asked me if I was a Democrat or a Republican. I'm on fire, I explained. On our second date, she leaned in as close as she dared. I'd like to kiss you, she said in a low, breathy voice, but you're on fire. It was then that I really started to wonder if I'd made a mistake. I began to wonder if I still wanted to be on fire. But it occurred to me that if I wasn't still on fire, I'd just be burnt. So I decided to stick with what I know. I decided to stay on fire.